In newsroom, our number one industry tonight. The COVID-19 pandemic has served a crippling blow to the cruise ship industry since it began in March, with the Bahamas already losing tens of millions of dollars. Needless to say, local tourism officials are anxious for a reboot. Officials caution, however, that when cruise services do resume, cruise lines will be enforcing their stiff safety mechanisms. Carla Palmer has more. Last year, a reported 5.4 million visitors came to the Bahamas by cruise ship. With the pandemic still looming large, those water hotels will continue to be a distant memory. In fact, Tourism Minister, the Honorable Dionisio Diagula says, service by cruise lines to this destination has been postponed to next year. They were looking at uh, resuming service probably in the first couple of weeks in December, but I think that's now been pushed back until sometime in the first quarter of 2021. And so, you know, the fact that they're not coming uh, translates into uh, an abandoned Bay Street where most stores are shuttered and there's just no economic activity out there. So um, it, is, it is devastating, uh, the complete evaporation of the cruise market. And... Um, especially on our city center and our taxi cab drivers and straw vendors and, and the like. So um, we're anxious for them to resume. Since March, the Bahamas has lost well over $200 million in cruise ship revenue to the pandemic. When they resume, they're going to be so super cautious because any outbreak on any ship is going to reflect poorly on the industry and it's going to cause the CDC to keep looking at their industry to, to see whether they should shut it back down again. So I have to advise the Bahamian people that when they resume, that they are going to start, of course, by going to their private islands because they can control that whole experience uh, far better there. Uh, they can test everybody on the island. They can check everybody who's, who's working on the island. Then they're going to come to Nassau and go on pre-arranged excursions. Where the tourism minister is asking stakeholders patience and understanding. Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News.